Okay, gang. Let's try and talk through a couple of things that uh, might be fun here in turn two with uh, Tunisia too, excuse me. Uh, I'm eating some plantains and they're not, uh, not going down the right way. All right, uh, I advanced aggressively here. Uh, coming, I think, uh, 10th Panzer came. Oh, I don't know where they came from. Maybe this way, I forget where they were. No, they must have come this way, I think. And uh, <clears throat> I forget, it doesn't matter. Overextended, but I wanted to capture Kasserine early so that I could potentially cut off some of these forces here and or uh, threaten the whole Tabesa area, which is off screen to the left. And in doing so, didn't, as the Germans really consider how aggressively, if the Allies wanted to, they could you know, move in and cut trace supply try and build themselves a little bit of line and, and, and pull some guys out of the uh, little quagmire they had themselves in here around uh, City Buzid here, which historically was a bit of a problem for them anyway, right? So uh, that's also just out of screen. Let me just uh, zoom that pop up there. So there's, there's a city here, a city there, right? So, you know, we've got some allied units and some German units uh, that are DG'd here. And, and that was the activities of the, the Allies trying to blunt the punch of 10th Panzer and, and or some of the forces from 21st Panzer. So how am I going to get these guys back into Trace? And I was looking at, uh, you know, attacking here and punching through, punching through this way. Expensive in terms of movement points. I've got to have everybody pretty much on their mobile side to sort of get to this location. As I started looking at it, I was like, whoa, I, uh, I knocked the camera, no. Uh, I was looking at it, I went, hang on a second, what's going on down here? So right here, right, it's an airstrip with nothing in it, mind you, no aircraft. And I could potentially take elements of 15th Panzer, some of the Africa Corps, Africa Corps maybe, if I could DG this dude here, and whatever is underneath him, which, you know, for purposes of solo play, I know we're not supposed to know, right? But that would be a French unit with a, a three combat factor and a two efficiency rating or effectiveness rating. Uh, <clears throat> we could potentially try and DG these guys with my last uh, J8, J88, this guy, if I can get a spotter down there, which we can. I could, if I could pop these guys in an overrun, one more hex, I control the airstrip. I believe then what I can do is now I can fly in air, I can fly in supplies to support this hex. Worst case. Best case, I can build myself a little uh, land bridge uh, of units and, and occupy this hex here and allow these guys to trace this way to the, to the road. Uh, which would be uh, beneficial, obviously. Uh, the 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 desperation attempt is to attempt a drop to 10th Panzer. I would need uh, <clears throat> one T for every two re. That's one and a half re. I'm going to need uh, one T here, so I'd have a couple of chances with transporters to drop some air. So. One of the great things about OCS is it really does give you lots of choices about how you go about things, and particularly if you do it the way I play, which is really only planning at most two turns ahead. I don't, uh, I can't look at the map and go, oh, here's exactly what I'm going to do for the next four turns. I'm just haven't built that skill set. I have a general impression of where I want to get to, and a rough idea about how I want to do that, and what the goals and aims are, and then I let the game, <coughs> excuse me, let the game play out. And we'll see who does what in reaction. Uh, the, the Americans had uh, built up some strength here. They've got a strong unit in the mountains here, and uh, uh, five-rated uh, First Rangers here with a, a weak French unit. Uh, some of the guys from uh, First Armoured are here. <coughs> so really, a scratch force brought up from Trebeza, uh, and actually moved up the HQ as well and supply 
So really in a difficult, a uh, little bit of a sticky wicket action going on here. And then uh, other elements of First Armoured move down this way, along with 34th Infantry trying to, oops, out of frame again. Let me see if I can just adjust you. Sorry for the jerky stuff. I've got on a very high stand because I'm on the Magnum Wall. Uh, we, we moved all these guys down here to try and buffer uh, and, and not allow the three panzer divisions basically to converge on Kasserine and or go uh, north towards La Kef or, or, or press in on Trebesa. So, which was basically Rommel's plan anyway was to bring forces through this way along with Dak, forces this way. He had a little bit of a disagreement with Kesselring and the other uh, the other army or corps commander running the northern section of the maps, I think it's Armin or Arnen, I uh, forget his name now, uh, but basically they didn't give uh, the Germans all of 10th Panzer, so they didn't give Rommel all of 10th Panzer, he only got part of it, that's not happening here, so we're having a little bit of a, a, a pressure cooker situation going on uh, for the Americans, they're, they're thrusting pretty crappy bait, cr pretty crappy units in front of uh, quite good units, but obviously not many of them, and having a little bit of fun and games. So, all very interesting. We'll uh, try and see if we can run these traps here and capture this field. In worst case, uh, oh, open up this as a supply route. Uh, best case, right? Worst case, take the f uh, not worst case, middle case. <laughs> take the field, put some tea in there, get these guys supplied. Worst case, drop it right there. So we've got some choices as uh, as the German player, Axis player. All right, I thought I'd share that with you. We'll talk to you soon. It's turn two, by the way. I didn't mention that. So it's just a little update uh, for the turn. Nothing happened on the northern portion of the map. Really just a lot of uh, Americans and French Moroccan forces moving up this way to try and uh, put a little bit of spine into the defense uh, at the outset of the Kasserine campaign. All right, guys, all the best.